Interference and Law of Conservation of Energy It appears that energy is destroyed at the points of destructive interference and created at the points of constructive interference. So the law of conservation of energy appears to be violated. But this is not correct. The energy is redistributed in the space. The energy is only transferred from the region of destructive interference to the region of constructive interference. The average energy being always equal to the sum of the energies of the interfering waves as explained below. If a single wave gives out energy I is directly proportional to A square at a point and the second wave also gives the same energy I is directly proportional to A square at the same point then the total energy should be equal to I plus I that is 2I is directly proportional to 2A square where A is the amplitude of each wave now if the two waves interfere constructively at a point then the intensity I maximum at that point is such that I maximum is directly proportional to 2A square or I maximum equals to 4A square. Similarly, if the two waves interfere destructively at a point, then intensity I minimum at that point is such that I minimum is directly proportional to a minus A1 whole square or I minimum is directly proportional to zero. In a region composed of one maximum and one minimum, energy is directly proportional to for A square plus zero or energy is directly proportional to for A square. So the average energy is for A square by two or 2a square. This is the same as the total energy contributed by the two waves individually. So there is merely a redistribution of energy. Thus, the phenomenon of interference is in complete agreement with the law of conservation of energy.